All right, what is going on guys? In this video, I am going to be going through how to set up voice meter banana and split audio tracks for OBS streaming or recording. Uh, this will be demonstrating how to split audio tracks for a external microphone, mine being a Blue Yeti, Blue Yeti in this case, as well as a headset. This is to split audio between Discord, uh, OBS, TeamSpeak, game audio, desktop audio, whatever the case may be. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into the video. We're going to want to go to control panel, click hardware and sound, click sound, and that'll pull up this display box. You're going to want to come down in the playback and click voice meter input. Uh, set default, I will change it real quick just so you can see. Click on it, click set to default, and now it's your default device for playback. For recording, you're going to want to find your microphone, in this case my Yeti stereo microphone, and select that as default. So I'll unselect it, click on it, set it default. Now my microphone is my default recording device, as it should be. So now we will go into OBS. One thing I want to point out real quick, come down here to the bottom right, click on your sound, and search for voice meter input, VB audio voice meter VAIO. Uh, it might be selected as your headset or your external speaker. Um, in this case, as I said earlier, we're setting up the game and Discord audio to come through the headset and then be split into different channels, as well as having the microphone set up. Come to Voice Meter Banana. What you want to do, first off, select your A1 hardware out right here. Click the WDM headphones or whatever your... Um, whatever is is outputting the audio in this case it's my headset uh, if you have uh, external speakers as well you can select wdm external speakers try and stick with wdm um, rather than ks or mme as there is some uh, latency between the two next you're going to want to come over here <clears throat> for hardware input one select b2 and in the virtual inputs you're going to want to select a1 and b1 and then A1 and B2. This will put your uh, game audio and your Discord audio to the A1 track that you selected up here, aka your headset. You're going to want to come into the Discord. I'll enlarge this real quick. Come to the settings and go down to voice and video. For the input device, put your microphone, and again, in my case, is the Yeti stereo microphone. For the output device, choose the voice meter aux input bb audio you can check and you can see that it's definitely working uh, automatically determine input sensitivity so i checked this to yes you can put it on whatever you like um, you can tell by the green bar that it is indeed picking up my microphone so that out of the way we will go to settings output put a recording you want to have as many tracks as you are using. In this case, I'm using five tracks, one for streaming, and then two, three, four, and five for the different types of um, sources. So we'll click on audio. For desktop audio, you want voice meter input, EB audio voice meter, VAIO. Desktop two, you want the voice meter aux input. And the mic and auxiliary audio is your microphone that you're using. In my case, the Yeti stereo. Make sure the rest of these are disabled. For our sources, you can see I have Discord, Game Audio, Blue Yeti Mic, and Webcam. I have my webcam audio muted. Uh, you'll have a desktop one and two. The desktop one will be your game audio. So if it says desktop audio, that is your game audio. Desktop audio two will be Discord. So to illustrate that, I want to come and click this cog, any cog, doesn't matter. Click on Advanced Audio Properties. Enlarge this box, you'll see I have four sources. The Blue Yeti microphone, I renamed Discord, uh, renamed Desktop Audio 2 to Discord, and Desktop Audio 1 to Game Audio. All tracks for one, because that's the streaming. And then each track, each source should have its own track. So Blue Yeti is in track two, Discord is three, Game Audio is four, and then my webcam is five. This is for editing down the road. I can split the tracks and uh, easily uh, manipulate the audio and video. 
So demonstrate, we will pull up a YouTube video, click on any video. Those who are in the know know that when it comes to measuring the performance of a graphics card, FPS. And as you can see, when I play the video by Linus Tech Tips, just part of the story. It's coming I mean, through game audio. All the FPS in the world. If we go back to Discord, close out of this, and we load up the uh, any any server, and you click at the bottom, deafen. Shorten this real quick. You click deafen. The Discord channel will play. As you can see, it's playing the Discord channel. So we have successfully separated our game audio and our Discord audio. So if someone is speaking really loud in an intense part, you can uh, dampen their sound and not affect your audio and the game audio. Uh, and vice versa, if they're talking too quiet, if you're talking too quiet, you can increase the volume without having to re record the video and edit the uh, volume sound. You're going to want to come and type in sound mixer options. That'll pull up this tab. Uh, come to Discord, click voice meter aux input, and voice meter aux input, depending on how many Discord uh, apps you have here. The input device will be your microphone. In this case, I'm using a Yeti microphone. And for the output on the master, put the voice meter input. VB audio voice meter, VAIO, and the input again, put your microphone, in my case, the Yeti stereo. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna do it for this tutorial on how to split your track audio in Voice Meter Banana between Discord, TeamSpeak, uh, OBS streams, and your game audio as well, depending on the use case, particularly for OBS streams, recording and streaming. If you found the video helpful, please make sure to give it a like, thumbs up. Uh, perhaps the channel will subscribe. If you're having trouble, make sure to comment. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible, and I'll see you in the next video.